Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from pharmacology chapter anti-psychotic drug. Anti-psychotic drug. This is coming under CNS category. Now without taking much of your time, we can start the first question. Actions of chlorpromazine. Actions of chlorpromazine include the following except Options are indifference to external stimuli, postural hypotension, hypoprolactinemia, hypothermia in cold surrounding. Actions of chlor chlorpromazine include the following except the question is which of the following is not an action of chlorpromazine? Indifference to external stimuli, postural hypotension, hypoprolactinemia, hypothermia. The correct answer for this question is hypoprolactinemia. Hypoprolactinemia. Actually, chlorpromazine will increase the secretion of prolactin. Hyper, it will cause hyperprolactinemia. And uh, we studied in the last uh, video that is a levodopa, dopa, levodopa will cause hypoprolactinemia. Levodopa will cause, will inhibit the prolactin decrease, will inhibit the prolactin release. So it will cause hypoprolactinemia. While this chlorpromazine, chlorpromazine, Normally you can say neuroleptic, chlorpromazine or neuroleptic will cause hyperprolactinemia, hyperprolactinemia. So here the question was, since it was the except, so the correct answer for this question is hypoprolactinemia. We will move to the next question, question number 2. The following action of chlorpromazine is not based on its anti-dopaminergic property. The following action of chlorpromazine is not based on its anti-dopaminergic property. Normally, neuroleptics have D2 receptor blocker action. D2 receptor blocker action. But which of the following action is not related with the, this D2 receptor blocking? Options are antipsychotic, hyperprolactinemia, anti-emetic, hypotensive. Here you can see these three items are related with the dopaminergic system, antipsychotic, hyperprolactinemic and anti-emetic. The correct answer for this question is option D. Option D. Next question, question number three. Chlorpromazine therapy increases the secretion of following hormone. Chlorpromazine therapy increases the secretion of following hormone. Options are prolactin, gonadotropin, corticotropin, then antidiuretic hormone that is ADH. The correct answer is this one we already discussed. Option A prolactin. It will cause chlorpromazine will cause hyperprolactinemia. It will increase the secretion of prolactin hyperprolactinemia this one we already uh, discussed in the first question now we will move to the next question question number four the following drug is not likely to produce dependence which of the following drug is not causes dependence options diazepam it will cause chlorpromazine pethidine methadone the correct answer is chlorpromazine chlorpromazine will not cause any dependence next question question number five the major limitation in the use of clozapine major limitation in the use of clozapine for the treatment of schizophrenia is clozapine is coming under antipsychotic atypical antipsychotic clozapine is atypical antipsychotic this one we will discuss in the last after once we discussed the mcq we will see the different classes of 
and the psychotic drugs that is neuroleptic classification so what is the limitation major limitation in the use of clozapine options are it is potential to cause agranulocytosis its inability to benefit negative symptoms of schizophrenia high incidence of extra pyramidal side effect then production of hyperprolactinemia the correct answer for this question is it will cause agranulocytosis agranulocytosis this clozapine will cause agranulocytosis because of that it's the use of clozapine is limited next question question number six what is true about risperidone risperidone is also a typical antipsychotic what is true about risperidone it is an atypical neuroleptic which produces few extra pyramidal side effect this is correct no it's a atypical neuroleptic yeah it is correct next one is uh, it has combined d2 as well as 5 ht2 blocking activity normally neuroleptic have d2 blocking activity and while risperidone in this option risperidone has got d2 as well as 5 ht2 blocking activity option c it does not cause hyperprolactinemia the correct answer and then option d both a and b are correct correct answer for this question is option d both a and b are correct that is it is an atypical neuroleptic that one respiratory is coming under that atypical neuroleptic and it has also the ability to cause dopamine blocking as well as d2 blocking as well as 5 ht2 blocking activity next one question number 7 which of the following is a atypical neuroleptic atypical and neuroleptic drug so this is very important this is question is coming from the classification you have to study the classification very well we will see in the last uh, this is very important in the options are coming like this and they will ask for the atypical neuroleptic select the atypical atypical neuroleptic options are loxapine olanzapine pimodin sorry pimozide flupanthixol the correct answer for this one is option b olanzapine seventh b is the correct answer olanzapine next question question number 8 the antipsychotic drug most likely to cause ocular toxicity the only antipsychotic drug which causes ocular uh, ocular toxicity on long term use ocular toxicity for eye toxicity on long term use is options are thioridazine haloperidol flupanthixol pimozide the correct answer for this question is option a thioridazine thioridazine will cause ocular toxicity when it is using on long term next na- question question number 9 chlorpromazine is ineffective in vomiting chlorpromazine you know uh, chlorpromazine is usually useful in case of vomiting but in one type of vomiting it is ineffective means options are motion sickness morning sickness digoxin therapy gastritis in which of the following vomiting which of the following type of vomiting this chlorpromazine we cannot use chlorpromazine options are motion sickness morning sickness digoxin therapy then gastritis the correct answer for this one is motion sickness motion sickness normally in, in case of motion sickness we will use diamond hydronate diamond hydronate so here chlorpromazine is ineffective in vomiting due to motion sickness now we will move to the next question question number 10 which of the following is a non sedative anxiolytic it's a non sedative anxiolytic that is anti anxiety drug options are chlorpromazine buspirone buspirone hydroxyzine alprazolam chlorpromazine buspirone hydroxyzine alprazolam alprazolam hydroxyzine buspirone then chlorpromazine the correct answer is non sedative anxiolytic is buspirone 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 it is coming under azepirone category of anxiolytic classification now the 11th question and the last question of this mcq the following drug of abuse is a hallucinogen which of the following is an hallucinogen options are cocaine cannabis heroin methacholone cocaine cannabis heroin 
methacolone the correct answer is option b cannabis tetrahydrocannabinol all are coming under this category cannabis so this is an allus hallucinogen another example is lsd lsd is also lsd is also coming under hallucinogen now we will see the classification this is very important classification of neuroleptic or antipsychotic drug antipsychotic drug or neuroleptics are classified into one this is phenothiazine category phenothiazine category you have to note here phenothiazine you can see here phenothiazine phenothiazine next one is butyrophenones butyrophenone butyrophenones now the third one it's thioxanthin 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 okay thioxanthin categories then fourth category is other types other heterocyclic other types then fifth one is atypical this is very important atypical Atty atypical antipsychotics so in the phenothiazine category you can see here i wrote like z i n e in the capital letter why because this medicine's name will end with z i n e okay z i n e so the first one is chlorpromazine chlorpromazine is an example for this one chlorpromazine is an example for this category you can see here ZNE is coming then another one is thioridazine thioridazine you know this one it will cause auto this one now uh, ocular toxicity or eye toxicity on long term use thioridazine ZNE you can see here also ZNE then flufanazine flufanazine all are coming under phenothiazine category next one butyrophenones its examples are haloperidol haloperidol is a example for butyrophenone this classification butyrophenone will end with the dol d o l dol trifluperidol another example is trifluperidol peridol then penfluoridol all are coming in the last dol so butyrophenone end with dol phenothiazine end with zn itself now we will move to the uh, thioxanthin it's you can see here x in the capital letter that's example is flupandixol 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 why i write here you can see flupandixol flupandixol then other examples are pimozide pimozide then loxapin loxapin are coming under this one example for atypical antipsychotic are clozapin clozapin then risperidon risperidon then olanzapin 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 then cotiapin cotiapin then next one aripiprazole 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 then the last one is ziprasidone 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 so these are the example for atypical antipsychotic clozapine risperidone uh, risperidone then uh, olanzapine 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 cotiapine aripiprazole ziprasidone so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please uh, thumbs up and also share with your pharmacy friends thank you